gentlemen, we are proud to present the Lebanon High School Band Sweetheart and Her Court. Freshman attendant, Miss Jenna Burris, daughter of Janan Robinson. Jenna plays flute in the band, member of the Mid-State Junior High Concert Band 1995-96 school year. Jenna plans to attend Western Kentucky University where she will major in music. Jenna's escort is Mr. Jamin Bell, son of Dan and Joyce Bell. The sophomore attended is Miss Valerie Martin, daughter of Glenn and Deborah Martin, granddaughter of Lillard and Francis Martin. Valerie plays clarinet and alto saxophone. Valerie is a member of the band council, the Nashville Youth Symphony, and was first chair clarinet in the Mid-State Concert Band last school year. Valerie plans to attend college after graduation and major in music and minor in foreign language. Valerie's escort is Mr. John Eskew, son of Don and Jaylene Eskew. The junior attendant is Ms. Asha C., daughter of Jackie C. Asha has been in band for three years. She is an assistant rifle captain, guard chaplain, a member of the band council, and she attended Governor's School this summer in Memphis. Asha plans to attend Howard Medical School, where she plans to become a neurosurgeon. Asha's escort is Mr. Prentice Marable, son of Loretta Thompson. The senior attendant is Ms. Rose Brummett, daughter of Martha Brummett. Rose has been in band for the past seven years and plays French horn in the band. Rose is one of the two field commanders in the band and is a member of the band council. Rose's escort is Mr. Jeremy Davenport, son of Ron and Karen Davenport. And the Lebanon High School band sweetheart, Miss Cheryl Langford. Cheryl is the daughter of Joe and Rena Langford. Cheryl has been in the band for the past seven years. She plays flute and piccolo. She is a member of the band council and secretary of the band. Cheryl has been a major driving force in the band by giving her support to all band students and to both band directors. Cheryl plans to attend college after graduation. Cheryl's escort is Mr. Zach York, son of Jim and Beverly York. Ms. Langford will be crowned by Josh Bell, president of the band. The band would also like to introduce you to the seniors of 1996-97 and their parents. Meredith Apple is the daughter of James and Margaret Apple. Meredith has been in band for four years and guard captain her senior year. After graduation, Meredith plans to attend Western Kentucky University to major in pre-medicine and later study in the field of obstetrics and gynecology. 
Josh Bell is the son of Dan and Joyce Bell. Josh has been in the band for six years. He plays alto saxophone and is president of the band his senior year. After graduation, Josh, pl Josh plans to attend the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and study in the medical field. Alan Britton is the son of Amelia Newble and John Britton. Alan has been in band for seven years, plays clarinet and tenor saxophone, and is field commander his senior year. After graduation, Alan plans to attend Cumberland University to study secondary education. Rose Brummett is the daughter of Martha Brummett. Rose has been in band for seven years. She plays French horn and is field commander her senior year. Rose is also active in the student council, FCA, and the Beta Club. After graduation, Rose plans to attend Cumberland University for her undergraduate and then Auburn University and work on her PhD in clinical psychology. Melissa Cheatham is the daughter of Gail Cheatham. Melissa has been in band seven years and plays flute. After graduation, Melissa plans to move back to Florida and study photography. Jeremy Davenport is the son of Ron and Karen Davenport. Jeremy has been in band for seven years, plays trombone, and is vice president of the band his senior year. Jeremy is also in the Mid All Mid-State Concert Band, the Grammy Jazz Band in Nashville, and auditioned for the National TV Grammy Band. Jeremy plans to attend the University of Tennessee in Knoxville and study veterinary medicine. Wesley Kemp is the son of Terry and Connie Kemp. Wesley has been in band for seven years, plays tenor saxophone, and is the senior representative to the band council. After graduation, Wesley plans to attend MTSU and major in mass communication and studio engineering. Cheryl Langford is the daughter of Joe and Rena Langford. Cheryl has been in band for seven years, plays flute, is secretary to the band council, and was a member of the band sweetheart homecoming court as a junior and band sweetheart her senior year. After graduation, she plans to attend Western Kentucky University and study dental hygiene. Tanya Ledbetter is the daughter of Mike and Brenda Grandstaff. Tanya has been in band for four years, flag captain her senior year, and a member of the band council. After graduation, Tanya plans to attend Austin Peay State University and study in the medical field. Holly Owens is the daughter of Gary and Jennifer Owens. Holly has been in band for eight years and plays flute. After graduation, Holly plans to attend Ball State to begin her undergraduate degree and finish at Cumberland University. Leslie Jo Shrum, daughter of Jody and Thomas Shrum, has been in band for four years. She is a member of the band, band council and is a guard captain her senior year. After graduation, Leslie plans to attend Ball State and study business and accounting. Then she plans to attend MTSU and finish her CPA. Corey Swafford is the son of Edith and Roy Swafford. Corey has been in band for four years and plays tuba and trombone. After graduation, Corey plans to go into law enforcement. Thank you. This broadcast is brought to you by the following Blue Devil supporters. Bates and Hooker. First Bank and Trust, First Baptist Church, Hartman Luggage Company, K.O. Lester Cash and Carry, Lebanon Cable Vision, Lee and Lee Attorneys, Hartlow Funeral Chapel, Perma Pipe Division, Piggly Wiggly, Rochelle McCullen All, Square One Express, and Hallmark Drive Thru, TRW, Commercial Steering Division, 
UMC University Medical Center. Please let our supporters know that you enjoy the telecast. And finishes with their rendition of our national anthem, and we are close to the start of this football game. Lebanon being at home tonight in a in a must-win situation. There's no really no no other really way around it. Lebanon, if if they want to go back to the playoffs, this is a football game they've got to win. Other games around the county tonight include Watertown at home hosting Class A's number one football team, Trousdale County High School, and Mount Juliet will be at home playing one of the top schools in 5A football. They'll be playing Riverdale. You can